Today we're opening one of my most nostalgic Yu-Gi-Oh products, the Yu-Gi and Kaiba collector boxes. What's up guys, we're back with another opening video. In today's video, we have a giveaway. Yeah, we're gonna start with that. We have three Legacy of Darkness first edition super rares. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your most nostalgic Yu-Gi-Oh product from back in the day, from when you got back into it, whatever. Just let me know the story in the comments. All right, since we're talking about nostalgic Yu-Gi-Oh products, you guys already know what we're opening, but why is this product nostalgic for me specifically? This actually came out, I don't know, actually when it came out at all but i know that in 2018 when i was playing duel links i wasn't into the tcg anymore i hadn't touched a card since 2006 pretty much other than like my old cards i checked out every couple of years but that was about it i went to walmart and i found these products the kaiba collector box and the Yugi collector box. These are really, really awesome. And back then I was like, man, these are nostalgic. They had Kaiba, Yugi, they had old packs that have old cards in them, stuff like that. So it was really attractive to me. And I bought a ton of these, probably bought like 10 or 20 total of like, not necessarily Yugi and Kaiba, but just like random ones, whichever one they had and opened them up because my very first one I opened was, I, I think it was Kaiba, but I don't actually remember because they both have the Kaiba packs. I pulled a Chaos Ember Dragon Ultimate Rare out of the Legendary Collection Kaiba or out of the Duelist Pack Kaiba, which was insane. So I remember these specifically, they were a big part of getting me back into Yu-Gi-Oh, figuring out that cards are worth a little bit of money. Like the CD was like 30 bucks, which I think it still is around that price, which is hilarious. But when it was like worth 30 bucks, I was like, that's insane. I gotta check out my old cards. And you guys know how it is when you get back in, you're like, oh, my old cards, I have all these cards. And then you realize unlimited condition, all that stuff. And then it kind of changes like what the actual value is or what you thought you might have. But a very cool memory. So I'm excited to do this. We're gonna do a battle. So we're gonna do with Kaiba versus Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna see which one can pull more value out of the six packs that they have. They also have starter decks, which those kind of cancel out. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen in the 6v6 battle, 12 total duelist packs. I'm excited for this. Let's crack these open and get into it. So first of all, we have a giant blue eyes white dragon card, which is pretty sick. I mean, honestly, it's a giant blue eyes card, but you're like, what do you usually do with these? It's hard to find anywhere to put them, but they are really cool though. So I like those. Then we have a smaller blue eyes. So you get a giant blue eyes, you get a smaller blue eyes. Then you get even more blue eyes. You get the starter deck Kyber Reloaded, which has an ultimate rare blue Blue eyes inside this is where you get the blue ultimate rare blue eyes the only ultimate rare blue eyes in english for the tcg which i mean that is english but that's pretty cool it's pretty weird because like being the only ultimate rare you only have to get it out of this starter deck so this is the unlimited version there's also another regular blue eyes so you get four total blue eyes three a play set because you know it's kaiba so it makes sense and then a giant one and then of course you get the three duelist pack yugi which we've talked many times these got screwed there's no ultimate rares which there should be and then three duelist pack kaiba which are really cool i think these originally came out in 2000 10 or 11 and these were like a year or two later and it seems like they were like hmm, maybe we should put ultimate rares in these and then these never got them so it's kind of unfortunate they should have just done it on the reprints that would have been hilarious the unlimited is just like more than the first edition because there's ultimate rares in it that'd be kind of cool then for the yu-yu side you get a similar you know amount of things but of course you get the dark magician the ultimate wisdom in terms of attack and defense instead of the blue eyes so there's the dark magician there's the smaller dark magician which i think this is a really cool artwork i like it's weird that they gave this like a new artwork and this is just like an old artwork like did they ever do this before this this is like a new dark magician artwork and that one's not so i don't know why blue eyes didn't get a new artwork then you get the starter deck yuki reloaded which has the ultimate rare dark magician i think the only ultimate rare dark magician as well so kind of weird you're getting stuff out of starter decks then you of course get your three packs of each which i think honestly the yugi box should get all yugi even though then they probably wouldn't sell because they don't have ultimate rare so maybe that was why they did that and then three kaiba so now we're going to do our battle we're going to do six packs versus six packs let me know in the comments who will win will it be yugi or will it be kaiba stake your claim in the comments we are going to start with a yugi pack from kaiba side let's see what he can pull he has Light Force Sword, Fusion Wave Motion. The cards we want in here are Dark Paladin, Summon Skull, uh, Dark Magician Girl, Mirror Force, stuff like that. We've got Queen's Knight, and there's only five cards in these packs, so this is going to be a pretty quick opening. And then we have a Blacklister Ritual and a Monster Reborn, which is just a rare. So very good card, but it's just a regular old rare. So starting it off with not much on the Kaiba side. Now we're going to Yugi. Yugi will open his own Yugi pack. Will we pull something good? We have King's Knight. We have Yellow Gadget, pretty decent. Swords of Revealing Light, very old school cards. Jack's Knight and a Exchange. I think the Super Rare would be before the Rare, so we might wanna just flip those around. Now let's do a Kaiba pack. If we do pull an Ultimate Rare, that would be insane because the Ultimate Rare is actually a decent value, even unlimited, because there's Pot of Greed, Cyber Jar, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Ring of Destruction, and Crush Card Virus, I believe are the five. So they're all like really iconic and classic cards. So we do pull one, it's gonna be pretty insane. So let's do a little bit of a pack trick. We have ancient lamp here we go first kaiba pack 
Legion, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp, Lord of the D, Kaiser Glider, and a Chaos Emperor Dragon, just like back in the day. We have not pulled this since then. We have pulled it out of a first edition box, but we have not pulled an unlimited one out of one of these products since 2018. We're talking nostalgic products, and we pull the ultimate rare. I'm probably gonna send this in. It's a little bit off center, but I might grade this anyway. Chaos Emperor Dragon. I still have the one that I pulled back then because I was like, this is just too cool to get rid of. So I still have my original. That is insane. Oh my gosh. I might grade that original one actually i can't believe we just pulled that what team was that even for i can't remember it was kaiba kaiba pulled it for kaiba of course he did what an amazing card even unlimited probably still around 30 bucks like i said earlier Woo! what a video all right you cannot make that up guys we're talking about nostalgic memories pulling the ced ulti and we pull it again that is nuts it's actually a really hard pull so I'm super happy with that. Now it's time for Yuki. Can you match it? If we pull two ultimate rares, I would take Pot of Greed. That'd be amazing. Uh, that would just be nuts. Reflector. We've got the Ancient Lamp. We have Different Dimension Dragon and the Interdimensional Matter Transporter. That's okay. So, wow. It's going to be tough to come back from that one, Yugi. Uh, very slow start for Yugi and a very fast start for Kaiba. So here we go. Keep it going. I can't believe we just pulled that. That's so cool. One, oh, no. Just swap, swap those. We have a green gadget. Karibo. All right, Yugi stuff. We got the Blackluster Ritual. Card of Sanctity. And we have the Catapult Turtle Common. All right, nothing too crazy there. Back to Yugi's side. Yes, yeah, so a comeback's not going to start with the Yugi pack. I can say that. Even if he pulls Dark Paladin, it's like $3. So it's not really going to help too much. It'll help a little bit, but not too much. We have Jack's Knight. Catapult Turtle. Red Gadget. Very nice. Monster Reborn. And... The Big Shield Garden, actually a really cool card, um, but, uh, you know, 2600 defense was huge back in the day, but probably not going to make the comeback. CD's a little too big for that, so let's go back into uh, Duelist Pack Kaiba. If we pull another big one out of the same collector box, that would be insane. Let's see if we can do it. I'm down for it. CED has already been pulled. Let's pull something big. Legend Mystical Genie of the Lamp. A genie of the lamp that is at the beck and call of its master, the CED. White Dragon Ritual, very nice. Ancient Lamp. Petten, the Dark Clown. And finally, we have... Ooh, a Fiend Sanctuary. Another super rare. So we are two for two on foils from Kaiba on Kaiba's side, which is very nice and very strong. So we have another super rare there. All right, back to Kaiba on Yugi's side. They're going to need something big. What if we pull double CED? How crazy would that be? That would be pretty amazing. I'd be down for it. We have Yugi's side. Polymerization. Hitotsumi Giant. Why Dragon Head? Kaiser Glider. And finally, we have... Ooh, White Stone of Legend. Okay, the first foil printing of this card, I think. I think it's from Crossroads of Chaos as a common. And then they reprinted as a foil in Duelist Pack Kaiba. So, another super rare. We're actually pulling a lot of foils here, which is really nice. Okay, Kaiba, going with your last Yugi pack. We're going to save the last two Kaiba packs for the end, for the epic comeback, potentially. Swap those. Let's see what we can get. Brain Control. Very good. Big Shield Gardener. Spellbinding Circle. A classic Yugi card. Magical Hats, another one. And... Oh, a Karibo. Very nice. It's a common, but very cool card. Last Yugi for Yugi. And then we finish it off with two Kaiba packs. I can't believe we pulled CED. That is so amazing. Let's see what else we can get. Catapult Turtle. Light Force Soul. Diffusion Wave Motion. Card of Sanctity allows you to draw six cards. That's actually not true, but that's what they said in the anime. And... Queen's Knight, just a regular common of the Queen's Knight. This knight catches her opponents off guard, dominating them with swift yet graceful attacks. Catches them off guard. Interesting. Two backs to go. Kaiba, you're going first. You are ahead right now. You have the CED pull. It is going to be difficult to come back from that. Can you put him away? If we pull another ulti, it's just over. Z Metal Tank. Flute of Summoning Dragon. Y Dragon Head. Paladin of White Dragon. And here we go. Sword Stalker, there he is. A monster formed by the vengeful souls of those who passed away in battle. Very cool. And now we have one final pack of the opening. Duelist Pack Kaiba. Already pulled a CED Ultimate Rare. Can we finish it off? Will Yugi pull one to return and make an epic comeback? Are they going to cheat, you know, like in the show to make an amazing comeback? Let's go. We have the Flute of Summoning Dragon. Beautiful. Lord of the D. Hitotsumi Giant. Petting the Dark Clown. And finally, we have 
The Enraged Battle Ox. So it looks like Kaiba is going to take this one with the insane throwback nostalgia CED Ultimate Rare Pull. What an amazing video. I'm super hyped up about this. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, Melancholy, and then High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Stanley, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.